This is Google's new Nexus 7 tablet. It's the device that you might have heard is going to take on the iPad, but in fact, you can see it's a lot smaller than the iPad, and it's also, when you open it up, much more emphasizing books, emphasizing films there. It's a device, rather than taking on the iPad, that maybe we should see as taking on the Kindle. It's the first device that's got the Google Chrome web browser built in as its default, starts up very fast, very powerful device. But this very much is something that Google want you to consume content with first and foremost. They want people to be buying more books, more movies, more TV from their Google Play Store, in the same way that many people buy things from iTunes. It is also, however, the first tablet that has a feature called Google Now. It will try and guess what you're going to be searching for before you've even had the idea of searching for it. You can see here one of its examples. It will automatically tell you how long your commute to work might take. It will automatically talk to you about flights that you've searched for. This is, at the moment, unique to the Nexus devices that Google has launched itself, but it will be coming to other Android phones, Android tablets soon. For now, Google Now is probably a bit gimmicky. It does some things like the weather that are useful, but they're not groundbreaking. But for users who are signed in, in particular, and let Google find out a little bit more about them, then it will, I think, be one of those services that we find ourselves using more and more, and we do that without noticing it. That's going to be a really important test for the continued relevance of services that only Google can provide. So will Google's Nexus 7 be the device that beats the iPad? Probably not, but that's because it's a very different device. It's trying to persuade users that a tablet is something that they want to buy, and it's trying to persuade users that just as the Android operating system has had huge success in mobile phones, partly because it's cheaper, then a tablet based on that operating system, used for reading books, for watching films, and at just £159 rather than the iPad's 329 could be the device for them. I think we're going to see a lot more of these sorts of Android tablets at these sorts of prices in the future.